Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of the video tutorial. Um, if you haven't seen part one yet, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Go back and watch the rest of it. Um, okay, so we've got all our footage recorded. We've closed the game. All we need to do now is splice it together in a video editing package. And the package I use is Adobe Premiere Pro. You can use whatever you want, but um, you just have to translate what's going on basically to your editing package. So when the menu comes up I'm gonna go new project and you wanna make sure HDV is chosen in the capture format and I'm gonna call this one squirrels just for fun. Do squirrels have two L's? I think it does have two L's. <laughs> okay so you can tell I'm getting a little tired after this tutorial uh, you want to make sure that HDV 720p 30 is checked. Now, the 30 FPS doesn't really matter because we're going to change that later. Uh, I'm just going to click OK. Right, so Premiere is loaded up now, and the first thing I'm going to do is go to File, Import, and I'm going to choose my low quality 60 FPS footage and my high quality 12 FPS footage, and I'm going to import them both. So I'm going to drag out the slow one first, the 12 FPS footage, and if you play this, you can see it's slow. <laughs> um, yeah, so we slowed this down by five times when we recorded it. And so let's go right click, speed duration, and let's increase it by five times. So 500%. And what's 12 times 5? 60. Yeah, so we've ended up with 60 FPS footage here. Now if we play through this, you can see it's super smooth, but the uh, the audio makes it sound like a, a chipmunk battle um, with like party poppers and, <laughs> and all that good stuff. I've thought of uploading an entire match in chipmunk mode before. I might well do that. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, but for now, we don't want that. So I'm going to right click and go unlink. Then I'm going to deselect them both and I'm going to delete the audio track using the delete key. So now I'm going to bring in the uh, 60 FPS footage and you can see this is in lower quality. I went back and re-recorded this at low settings by the way. Um, but yeah, the audio is intact so what I'm going to do is right click unlink on this and delete the video track. I think you can see where this is going. And I'm just going to shove these two together and hopefully the audio will match up. But um, I haven't found a way to get it perfect there, but recording at low settings at 60 FPS seems to be the closest way of doing it. It might still need a bit of tweaking, so let's have a look. Uh, you can see the gunshots are a little bit out, so I'm going to zoom right in on this sucker, and I'm going to trim a little bit of this off to start with. I'm going to find where I make my first gunshot. This is the easiest way of matching up the audio. Um, so, is there a muzzle flash there? I'll zoom in. Yeah, there we go. So on that frame, we have a muzzle flash. On that flame, did I just say? Oh wow, I'm I'm really getting tired. <laughs> So we're just going to shove this audio track along until you can see where the, the gunshots start. Uh, shove this along and hopefully this will match up, maybe do it the frame before. Okay, zoom out and let's play this. Uh, that looks pretty alright to me. Obviously you can tweak this a little uh, a little better. Maybe one frame too early. I'll uh, move it over. Let's try this now. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so we got that matched up. Uh, zoom out again. Extend that to the end. Uh, I'm going to make sure these clips 
the audio and the video end at the same time. Make sure the comp is uh, at the end of your video as well. And yeah, now we have 60 FPS video with matching audio. Um, hope you're proud. <laughs> this is where you do any editing and stuff that you want to do. This is where you lay your audio commentary over the top. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. That's, that's all your choice. Um, so all we need to do now is render this sucker out. So on to rendering, which is all we really have left to do. We want to get to File, Export, Media. And this is the exporter, so you want to check that your source and your output settings uh, are like, you know, there's no black bars in the output or anything. Um, if there is, you've done something wrong. <laughs> um, okay, you just want to, ooh, shit. You want to make sure that everything is in there that you that you need. Um, and then once you've got that sorted, we're going to go to the export settings. I have a custom setting called Black Ops, which I use for obviously Black Ops. <laughs> um, but for other games, it's not too dissimilar. So we want to choose. Oh, <laughs> we want to choose H.264 from this list, uh, and make sure that export video and export audio are checked. Okay, now down here. Uh, the multiplexer settings should be uh, alright how they are, like MP4 and standard. Go to the video settings, this is the really important bit. Um, it doesn't matter whether you choose NTSC or PAL, because the only difference is the frame rate, and we're going to choose a non-standard one anyway. We're going to choose 60 FPS from the frame rate, and you want to make sure that this is uh, the correct resolution. Um, widescreen 16 by 9 uh, bitrate, I set mine to 15. I know that's quite high, but um, and it takes longer to render, but it gives you higher quality video, so uh, you can see the estimated file size at the bottom here. This is only going to be 42 meg, but it's only a 20 second video or something, so you want to make sure that use maximum render quality is ticked, but uh, you want to untick use frame blending. We don't want that. Uh, okay, so we should be sorted now. So all you will need to do is click export. This might take a while, so I might speed this bit up. Okay, that's done rendering. That um, actually only took like a minute and a half. Uh, so what we want to do now is save this just in case something went wrong. And quit, I guess and you want to find your file now mine usually store in documents adobe premiere pro 5.0 and there we go sequence one so what you want to do now is give this a play hostile rcxd spotted in your area Enemy care package inbound. Do not let this happen again, comrades. Right, there you have it. Um, you've created some super smooth gameplay from Call of Duty Black Ops, and it was all thanks to the flexibility of the theater mode. So let's hope that all future Call of Duty games on PC have the theater mode, so that we can we can all upload awesome footage to YouTube. And. Yeah, if you follow this tutorial and you end up with some decent results, post them up as a video response and I'll most likely accept it, unless it's really bad or something. <laughs> uh, so yeah, well done guys. There is one final stage in this tutorial though, um, and it'll get the absolute best results. So what you want to do is open up your internet browser and go to youtube.com forward slash user forward slash gman318 and click this big old subscribe button. And what this will do is this will win you the internet. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's definitely a worthwhile prize. <laughs> um, right, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. And uh, other than that, I guess I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.